नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर रूमा सिन्हा प्रोफेसर इन गायनिकॉलोजी लैप्रोस्कोपिक एंड रोबोटिक सर्जन एट अपोलो हॉस्पिटल हैदराबाद टुडे वी हैव अ सेशन टू टेक केयर ऑफ मेनी ऑफ द मिथ्स दैट सराउंड्स ओवेरियन सिस्ट इन वीमेन सो मिथ नंबर वन ऑल ओवेरियन सिस्ट कॉजेज इन फर्टिलिटी दैट्स नॉट ट्रू नॉट ऑल ओवेरियन सिस्ट कॉजेज इन फर्टिलिटी लॉर्ड ऑफ वीमेन with the presence of ovarian cyst get pregnant and deliver but there are certain cysts that may cause infertility and endometriotic kind of cyst is number 1 in that myth number 2 all ovarian cysts are cancer wrong most ovarian cysts are not cancer in the reproductive age group when the cysts which we find in young women and we do a evaluation for them there are certain clues that can be picked up to say that they are not cancer a simple cyst on ultrasound a cyst which is normal in size cyst which is not growing very fast are all signs of simple cyst which are not cancerous cancerous cyst can be found in elderly women or in sometimes in very young girls and these are some cyst which will require surgical intervention myth number 3 all ovarian cysts require surgical removal wrong most cysts can disappear if given time because these are functional cyst dependent on hormone in women and if you watch them for 3 to 4 months the cyst soon disappears very small cyst do not require surgery and the cyst that has been reported as polycystic disease never requires any surgery myth number 4 ovarian cyst if it has to be removed requires open surgery wrong most ovarian cyst can be removed by keyhole or laparoscopic surgery now we deal with two types of cyst either it could be a non cancerous or a cancerous cyst a non cancerous cyst may it be any size any number can be removed with minimal access laparoscopic surgery if the we suspect that the cyst is non cancer cancerous that means the investigation is suggesting or while operating we feel that the cyst could be cancerous in those situations and those situations only we advise and we do open surgery myth number 5 all ovarian cysts are because of pcos no not true in fact pcos or polycystic ovarian syndrome although gets reported on the ultrasound as cystic ovaries they are not really cysts they are just enlarged follicular spaces in your ovary which forms like a string or a pearl on the ovary which is described as cystic ovary these are not actually cysts and so none of the cyst which actually are seen in ovary is because of pcos pcos is a background hormonal condition for which hormonal treatment or lifestyle modification is what is required so pcod is not responsible for any of the ovarian cysts that we describe myth number 6 all ovarian cysts are painful wrong most ovarian cysts develop and there is no pain so how would you know that you are developing an ovarian cyst in fact many patients or many women come to our office when they are incidentally diagnosed they went for some other thing a scan was done and they are diagnosed to be an ovarian cyst so most cysts are not painful there are two things that can give pain during ovarian cyst one type of cyst and that is endometriosis if you have a cyst for which the underlying cause is endometriosis then those cysts are very painful especially during periods which we call as dysmenorrhea the other thing in which a cyst can give you acute pain very severe pain and you have to report in emergency is a torsion of the cyst that means the cyst undergoes a some kind of rotation or a torsion inside your tummy and gives you acute pain remember these are acute situations you need to reach an er or an emergency room you may have a sensation of nausea along with it and any cyst which is beyond 7 to 8 cm are the ideal cysts which undergo a torsion so remember all cysts are not painful but these are the situations it can be painful myth number 7 all ovarian cysts should be removed wrong sometimes if women have functional cyst which is a hormone dependent problem there is no need to do any surgery immediately unless these cysts are big or are causing or increasing in size very rapidly the second situation which reports as cyst is a polycystic ovarian syndrome where again no surgery is required we require surgery only if it is a benign tumor or a malignant cyst or a cancerous cyst so all cyst require surgery as a blanket statement is a myth myth number 8 it is okay to ignore the ovarian cyst wrong 
any cyst that has developed has some type of pathology. It may disappear on its own, it may not disappear in its own. It may progress into more problems, it may give you pain, torsion, bleeding, hemorrhage or maybe even turn into malignancy or cancer. So it is not okay to ignore a cyst. But if you have been diagnosed with a cyst, take an opinion of a gynecologist whether any intervention is required immediately, whether it requires further evaluation and whether it requires an immediate, uh, if it does not require immediate intervention, does it require observation and follow up. So these are the few things that need to be taken into consideration if you have been diagnosed with ovarian cyst. But please do not ignore that once you have been diagnosed with ovarian cyst and make sure you have regular checkup to find out what is happening to this cyst. Thank you for joining us to understand the myths that surround ovarian cyst in women. Namaste.